Tegan, are what? the AVN Awards... I'm sorry, I was just reading the email. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> are the AVN Awards, and Scotty was talking about this earlier, are they as crazy as they look from the viewer's side of it? Because it looks like it's what, for, nuts. For the convention or the award show? Uh, I guess both. It's... But the, especially oh. <laughs> the award show, that's what <laughs> the, I've the, seen the, 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 the yeah. award show, it's chaos because you have a lot of people... Uh, and they allow, what is it, like two hours for the red carpet, basically, or an hour and a half. So you have to fit, how many people, like 300 or something like that? People get them through, walk the red carpet, do interviews, get them into the lo- into the venue. Of course, they're going to want drinks. So it's getting the people from the bar and mm. getting them the, to the assigned seats, you know, and it's a chaos. And what do you say to the crazed fan that made the way all the way out there to attend and they run into you and it... Yippee. Because- <laughs> I think your recommend show is is a good you know show I think because it's more of a fan show and they're not there like they're not they're not selling anything normally we do conventions all year round so it's just a way for them to take pictures and really sure. like give back so I think that that to me is one of the coolest conventions because it's just they're there for you and they wait in line for hours and it's really cool to see the feedback that you get from everybody and that come from all over to, to come to I Vegas. was saying to these guys earlier, it just looks like it's a big fucking cat fight waiting to happen. Either a cat fight <laughs> or an orgy or one than the other. Like there's just too much. Multiples of those happen I mean, every is, year. Is there a lot of camaraderie <laughs> in the business or is there a lot of like, oh, I hate that bitch? Or, I would know, guess you know that the guys get along much better than the girls. I That's think just it's just guess. like high school. You know yeah. what I mean? Like everyone has their cliques. Everyone has, you know, people you get along with. People, you know, it's, it just depends. Like, I don't like everybody, obviously. You're never going to find right, someone that right. you get along with everybody. But, yeah. you know, I, it is a business as well. So I'm acquaintance. I'm civil. There's only, I could say, probably a handful of people that I really would be like, I hate you. And you like, just don't want to talk <laughs> to you. Don't. I look the other way and I keep walking and they know the point. They get the point that I don't like them. You know, Trip them on the red carpet. That. The AVN award uh, at the, in the cafeteria, all the clicks. Oh, there's the anals over there. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that because I don't she like used the to be in the I ATM. work with either. <laughs> <laughs> they, she used to be in the ass to mouth, but she's just with the anals now. <laughs> well, where are all the DPs at? <laughs> uh, biggest tip you ever got? Oh. Mm. Uh. You mean of the con? Are you talking about of the con? No, no, <laughs> I'm talking about when you... Like strip club. Oh, gotcha. Okay, you know, like sorry. when you're performing and When we're hustler. Nike. I've gotten it like a thousand dollars within like accumulation of money. And like this guy, I was in New York and he like bought all of my merchandise. Like he was just like, I want to buy all of it and just gave it away to the club to people because he was like, I want to promote you and whatever. So he no like, shit. just whatever. And it was like accumulation of like a thousand bucks. Wow. wow. He's so bad. Walk around with a stack of hundreds in your pocket. <laughs> this is a, this is from a girl as well. Tess, if you weren't in the fuck business, what would you be doing? Hmm. Good question. Um, at first I was going to school, I was going to do respiratory care therapy, which is a lot like nursing, but then I got really kind of tired of that and was like, "Mm, not really. (laughs) Then I always wanted to open up my own (laughs) spa and be a massage therapist and do that kind of thing. But now I don't know. I don't know what I would be doing. Like Could you, you imagine yeah. walking in and saying, yeah, I'm here for your massage? Yeah. And they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my prostate? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Cough. Turn your head yeah. <laughs> Only What about you, Tegan? Um, I, I probably would have been a dance teacher because I used to teach little kids dance. So. Yeah, you are bendy. Mm-hmm. Well, not, not as much anymore. I've kind of lost that. Sucks. <laughs> you, uh, you guys both seem like you got great heads on your shoulders and understand the business too so that's really cool yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys could, you're sane <laughs> damn it do you, do, you have anyway. do you have a safe word a safe word like if something's going wrong I or- have a, mo- a movement that I do I go like this <laughs> my security and if that's but happening do over then, <laughs> then that's a problem if that's happening <laughs> That, yeah. Okay, so just one. Other, I just, wait, but what causes you to do this? Because um, of what? Usually, with me, I um I get a lot of people because my butt is so big. Like people want to touch it or grab right. it or yeah. smack it, and like, you know, I'll give you a warning. I'll slap you in your face and tell you you can't do that. And some people try to egg you on, like it's kind of a joke or whatever. So I've kicked people like in back to their seat. Like I'm pretty um a strong woman, so I'm kind of assertive, and I can usually do it myself. But if I have to do this little finger thing, then it's usually probably not a good thing. And what's with all this? Maybe I've been just out of it for a while, but what's with all the gagging all of a sudden? Is that 
by continually you know, uh, pushing the envelope, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I don't really. Because for a while, the, the piss the, the piss thing was big for a while. And it seemed what, that kind of. What, squirting or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Squirting, so-called squirting. So-called squirting. I kind of think that it's kind of, you know, everything kind of comes full circle. And like, I think porn, you know, a couple of years before I even got in the business, like 10 years ago, I'd say is was a lot more hardcore. They did a lot of, you know, DPs and all these like really rough scenes and things like that. And then it went through a stage where it was kind of really vanilla and, and it wasn't like that. It was only, you know, one-on-ones and things like Couples. that. And now it's kind of going back to harder stuff because you could go through fads and everything. Yeah. You know, people like different things. You know, now you have a, a company called kink.com that do all kind of, you know. Write that down. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> they okay. hide people up, electrocute people. Like they do some no shit, like, like crap, crazy really? stuff. Yeah. That's it's like nuts. It's definitely like a niche that's, I think. Coming back around for me, Jesus. I can't do that stuff because I would cry if you hit me. I'm going to hit you back because it's just not fair. <laughs> sure, I, I, I just know, I just it's don't know how. Fair. I mean, I guess you know different strokes, but I don't know how people can watch that and honestly jerk off. I just don't understand it. I, it's supposed to be like hot. Different right? strokes for different folks. Yeah. I, that's, I, that's what you get. That's, that's it doesn't work for everybody, but it's either obviously you, a market. Either one of you guys ever work with uh, Ron Jeremy by chance? Fuck no. I have worked. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I like party. him. He's a nice guy. Like, right, right. But right. I, I just wouldn't have no. sex with him. We've done a party. We hosted a party yeah. with him for Super Bowl, but no, we've never. We've never. He's, he's been in the studio with us a couple times. I wanted a and- large sausage. We did, but we don't have any money. How can we pay you? Wow. <laughs> That's just the oh most disgusting. All right, so which one of you two was that? <laughs> he bangs a lot of young I've hot been, chicks. Yeah, it's like really nineteen crazy. year old chicks. Really? He stole women from me. I yes. was gonna fuck these girls and he totally ruined my chances. He just pulled their tits out and started sucking on them and they started making out in the corner. It was really I was they really fucked mad in at the him. bathroom. And then I went on a convention with him was this in at the Roxy? New Zealand no. and he was my neighbor, like my new extra neighbor and Every single day, he fucked or had some girl blowing him. At least one to two girl, different girl, every single day. And I was like, I can't. You just go on with your bad self. Like, I don't know. And they're pretty <laughs> girls, too. Like, it's just because. It's fucking a missile. You're telling me there's a chance. So yeah. Yeah. There's a chance. <laughs> people go crazy. Guys in the airport, people go nuts over him. Yeah. 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 Can't go anywhere with him. He's a cool like, guy, and he's bigger than the industry. You know what I mean? Definitely. And he, you know, and he mainstream said. mainstream stuff that he does. And, and he's that guy that just says, thank God for my dick, or I would never get laid. Look at the rest <laughs> of me. I mean, <laughs> He, he was more that. attractive earlier on, and you know, yeah. too. you know, he's just. And now it's just he's let himself go, and he doesn't care. Right. See where he wears his clogs and his wet right, pants. Yeah. And, and he travels. Short, he travels with shopping bags. <laughs> yeah, and this little purple bag that he just comes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can do wow. that. You can do that when you're on fucking Jeremy. And what exactly. about other staples in the industry? Uh, I, I don't know. From Peter me. North, N- Nina Hartley. Uh, do they, are they are like are like all the old staples? Do they try to get? Back in, it seems the, like a, a whole bunch of them have at least lately. I think there was obviously there was you know the whole milf thing came and was really popular a couple of years ago, so a lot of people came back and did you know things like that. And Nina Hartley was one of them. She played actually, I she was my mother I think in Discovering Alexis Texas or no she was the older version of me when I am supposed to grow up I'm supposed to be like Nina Hartley and she's like beating the shit out of Belladonna. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'm supposed to portray me. I don't know. Well, I think we we found out. A few days ago, that when you grow up to be Nina Hartley, you're going to be very meaty down there. Just I'm so already you know, so you, meaty, so oh, maybe well, I could okay. grow up. It's I don't not know. a big change. <laughs> I, it's not going to be a drastic change. Then. Well, I, I love meaty. <laughs> I call them my bat wings, to be quite honest. And they even sing sometimes. <laughs> wow. Uh, can, That's know, only on the Blu ray, though, right? Just on the Blu ray. <laughs> Bonus clips. 